Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel Hub. In this video I will show you how to use the COUNTIF function, which is a function that counts the cells in a range that meet a given condition. Unlike COUNTIFs with an S, which supports multiple criteria, the COUNTIF function supports only one criterion. The COUNTIF function works as follows. We first input the range we are considering, and then inputs the criterion. In this video we will consider three main examples. Firstly, we consider the use of text criteria, followed by the use of logical operators, and finally we consider wildcard criteria, which are especially useful when dealing with text data such as customer feedback. In the first example, we have a range of employees and their nationalities, and want to find out how many people represent each nationality to get a better idea of the demographics at our firm. So we first type equals countif, we then input the range, which is the nationality column, and finally add the criterion, which in this case is English. So there are four English people at our firm. Now to quickly determine the amount of people representing the remaining nationalities, we can add absolute references to our range by clicking the F4 key, and then toggle this formula down to the subsequent cells. We can then find the total number of employees by using the sum function and then calculate the proportion of employees representing each nationality. Here we take the amount of people representing the given nationality, in this case English, and divide it by the total, once again adding absolute references to ensure we always select cell F16. Therefore our firm mainly consists of English people, with Germans making up the second largest demographic at 22%. Now this application of the COUNTIF function will be especially useful if your firm has hundreds of employees and calculating the demographics manually would be too time consuming. In the next example we have various items and their revenues. We first want to determine how many items had a revenue greater than 50. So once again we type equals COUNTIF. We first want to select the range, so this is the revenue column, and we then want to add our logical operator, which is greater than 50. Now to find the total items, we can use the count function, once again inputting the column containing the revenues as our range. Finally, to calculate the percentage of items with a revenue greater than 50, we take the number of items with a revenue greater than 50 and divide it by the total items. Therefore, 44% of items had a revenue greater than 50. In the last example, we are given customer feedback ranging from very good to very poor. We firstly want to determine the number of responses. Here we type equals count if, select the range, and then input an asterisk to count the number of cells containing any text. Now the reason we do this is because there are five cells within this range However, one of these cells is empty because the customer perhaps forgot to provide any feedback and therefore we want Excel to count the number of cells that are not empty, which in this case is 4. Next, we want to calculate the amount of positive responses. Now, positive responses can either be good or very good and we want to count both. To do this, we type equals count if, we select the range and then type good with two asterisks surrounding it. We are given an answer of two as any feedback containing the word good has been counted and in this case this is two. To find the amount of negative responses we can copy the formula we just used and substitute good for poor. Finally we want to calculate the number of extreme responses i.e. very good or very poor. To do this we can do the following. Here we have included eight question marks separated by a space to count all cells that contain two words with four letters, in this case very good or very poor. This brings us to the end of this video where we have discussed the different applications of the COUNTIF function. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.